Welcome back to Control. There's two areas we're supposed to reach from the crossroads. Now that we have this new ability to make the crystally things on the wall come out and be platforms for us. But before doing the main thing, I want to go back to where we came from and see if there's any areas there that I can now access. Okay, well from the cave bleed there's that. Is there... Is there some way I could access that? I don't see how. Maybe we don't... Ugh. <laughs> Maybe we don't get in from this way, but rather we get out, because it goes to other parts. Have we been here? I don't think we have. So hold on, this is the room where all the geysers shoot up. And originally in this room we came from here and just went over there. But there's also this area up here. It doesn't even require anything special to get to it. Just stand on there and levitate. And I think it's going to lead to that upper floor over that large cavern. The one we couldn't reach before, if you remember that. Oh, wait. Oh, it's this. Yeah, we've been here before. Of course, I couldn't make it to the other side, and it still looks like I can. I don't see anything to use my abilities on. But we probably can get there from the other side once again. Yeah, probably from this huge cavern here. fun thing. Purple? What level is that? Six? So the DLC adds a higher level of mod. Ammo recovery on evade used 19%. Damn. That's something I would want? Eh. I can see that being really useful. Evade a little bit, get your ammo back, and then keep shooting. For certain things, not maybe not so much for pierce and charge. I do kind of feel like I need a faster weapon for a lot of these enemies that are coming at me. They're running at me. Pierce is not appropriate for that. Charge works okay. It works okay, but it doesn't work close up. I could try the shotgun? Uh, do we have any better mods for the charge? Because I know I haven't gotten very many good ones. Nope, they're still bad. Yeah, let's try switching out the charge for shatter. I don't have great mods for that either. I should try making some mods. But we got plus 8 projectiles, minus 24% project projectile spread, and plus 35% damage. Let's see, what is the projectile spread like? Hmm, quite wide from that range. Yeah, it's quite wide from any range, actually. You know, rate of fire might be better than projectile spread. 25%? Yeah, that's my best one. It's very satisfying. Okay, yeah, can we get up there now? Thing to use my abilities on. Nothing at all? How are you supposed to get to any of those places? Hmm. 
There is this question marked area back here, but I think that's one that requires you to destroy the thing, which I don't have the ability for. Oh, never mind. That's how you get up there. Yes. To the chasm. That leads to the question marks. Uh, maybe not there yet. I love the striations. Anyone else want to try to milk the cave? Look at all those udders. Pupa agrees with me, apparently. I don't know if you heard him meowing in the background. <laughs> to the chasm, then. in this box. <sighs> VHS tape supplement. This item's creation is the source of much research and debate. It was a product of the Bureau's first attempts to film Entity A-001 during Operation Shallow Tide. An agent was able to conceal themselves in an area frequented by Ahti, at which point they began filming. The agent reported that the video camera showed no signs of disturbance during the filming. Later, when reviewing the footage, the research staff became mesmerized by its altered effect. Measures were taken and altered evaluation began. Never before have Bureau personnel been so closely involved in the creation of an altered item. The experiment was quickly replicated, though not with the same results. The footage was simply useless in every subsequent attempt. This event spawned a great debate as to whether altered items are created by paranatural entities, intentionally or otherwise. Similar experiments were prohibited soon after, see the Ash Act for details, as the creation of altered materials was deemed an action the Bureau should not engage in. So is the implication here that Ahti is Entity A-001? And that somehow by just filming Ahti, they were able to create an altered item? What is Ahti? Hmm. Oh, that's not actually going to help me get to the upper floors in the other, in the, the place marked cave system. But this would lead there, deep cavern, but it is also closed. I guess I just gotta wait for a quest or something. Oh, have we looked at this cave painting? I wanna make sure we look at every single one because they're really interesting to me. So this this one shows, looks like human figures, and then at the top, it looks like um, 
the board, that triangle, the pyramid. Ooh, this might be enough. Oh, no! It all came crumbling down. I'm trying to build a tower to get up there. I just need a little bit more height. It's almost enough. If I can get on top of these, and they don't topple over, I think that'll be enough. Unless there's an invisible wall. Oh, it's so close. Maybe I do need one more. I don't know if there's an invisible wall or if I just need one more. Oh my god. I can't believe I stacked those. Oh, come on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Oh, that is so satisfying. Okay, so this is obviously only meant to be accessed if you have that ability. Uh, but we can access that. Oh, there's cairns all around it. Interesting. Yeah, this one's been like drawn in the sand or something in a very different way than most. This one looks like it's been created more naturalistically. Well, rip cairns. Oh, we have ability points. Ground slam damage? Sure. Also, can we construct any weapon mods? No, I still am missing corrupted samples, which I probably won't get here. I think I gotta go to some mold zone to get those. Nah, I can't get in there. Can't get in there either. Hidden location. Oh, level six rate of fire boost. Rate of fire plus 55%. Dear God. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. So that is all we can do in here, for now. Then back to the crossroads. Did we look at this one? Hmm. Bunch of people and the board. But this kind of looks like former. The giant worm thing? So, should we go over here? I think this is the warehouse path, or should we go to base camp? Let's go here.
It's so dark. Why is it showing me how to do melee? Do I need to do melee for something? Also, look at that light as it lights up. Look at how it reflects on the ground. That's beautiful. Oh, it's telling me that I can destroy this. does that thing go? Hit him without even locking on. It's very satisfying. <laughs> very satisfying. pretty little particles coming out of it. It's kind of similar to that fungus stuff that falls off and explodes, but it's, it's not the same. Looks like it's made out of this kind of the same stuff that those geysers were made out of. It looks like a key card or something. There is an area back there, but I don't want to go there just yet. Is this a bureau ID badge? It looks so old. Hope will definitely want to see this. Pyramidic Geometry I've been going through my library, researching pyramids and triangles. If that shape does relate to the board as Northmore says, then perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through their geometric knowledge. In esotericism, the triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and other three-part concepts. Past, present, future. Mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board also implies multiple parts. Upright triangles in Judeo-Christian imagery indicate ascent into the rational or divine realm. Inverted, it signifies a descent into the corporeal or human. Naturally, the ascent is masculine and the fall is feminine, Adam and Eve. That's just a bit of old world patriarchy. It's 1964 now and we're well past that silliness. 
Yeah, right. Considering the above, why does the inverted triangle... What does the inverted triangle tell us about the board? They're clearly not corporeal or human. Perhaps they wish to be? Or they once were? The likeliest answer is simply that theological imagery cannot help us define alien entities. But still, the pyramid seems significant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. Wash stations don't work anymore. The fact that I can even try kind of implies to me that maybe they will at some point. Or maybe they just wanted to demonstrate that they're so old they don't work anymore. Could go either way. History of the oldest house. The oldest house has revealed much to me during my months in the Foundation, but many questions remain. Primarily, the tree etchings bewilder me. What is their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime as I've theorized, then was a tree its first form? I sent a team to the Schwartzman building in search of pre-settlement accounts of Manhattan Island. From those, I discovered a single relevant line. And there I found a tree not known to me. The devil twisted within its bark. That line, taken with the fact that certain American cultures believed some trees would offer wisdom and guidance, is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence. And though I am now bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. Of course, there are numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees. Uh, Yggdrasil, the tree of knowledge, Yox, Emix, Che, I'm not pronouncing that right. Some cultures offered blood sacrifices to trees, while others claimed trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's many murders act as sacrifice for the oldest house? Does the house have a chosen champion? Is it me? Ooh, damage boost. How much? 49%, much better than 35. Boop. I could also put it here on the pierce. Damage after a kill, to be honest, is, I don't think that great. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what that means exactly. Like, does that mean after you, no, that wouldn't make any sense. If it meant after a kill, like literally if you make a kill any time after that kill, your next shot is going to do 77% damage, and then you're basically always running on plus 77% damage. Most likely there's some sort of a timer where like after you kill somebody, you get a 77% damage boost for five seconds or something. But how long is that window? If it's only a couple seconds, then that's not that effective because it takes a bit of wind up to get the pierce to even fire again. That's why I'm super unsure about that. Ooh, there's a better energy recovery speed, 38% instead of 35% for my personal mods. Check if any others are better. Mm, yes, this launch energy cost is minus 1% more than the one I've currently got. So, there's a lot of ways to go. I can't get in there because I don't have the ability, but I can get up there. I don't want to go there just yet, though. That is such an interesting shape. It doesn't look natural. It's too smooth. So we can get up there, or also just... Instead of going the back way, we can just go up here. What's in there? I don't know, it's hard to read the map because there's so many different layers.
weird place to leave an ID card, but okay. <laughs> I love Jesse. They're an awesome character. Ah, there is an inside to the thing. I guess we already saw that in the back, didn't we? Another ID card for a cartographer. Research team have established a permanent examination lab in the foundation. I basically live down here now, like the obedient head of research father raised me to be. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore found the handgun. The work was half-hearted at first, I admit, but then I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging at its base. Ley lines, dragon roads, Heiligalinian, call them what you want. But this pillar is the crossroads. I started building something. Equal parts talisman and technology. An array that can impose order on the ley junctions. That's the idea at least. We'll see what I've done. I prefer to work away from the pillar. I'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes. So how would I grab that thing to put it in its socket? like a timed thing? What does it even do? So like one of these is lit up, I guess there's another one somewhere? I thought that was the power for the elevator, but obviously it's not. Hmm. I think before I take the elevator, which seems like the main thing, I want to go over here. that power core storage. 